Hey, 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 you guys. I am back with another video. And today's topic, we are talking about 10 home decor hacks that will make your home smell amazing. So if that is something that interests you, keep on watching. All right, so today's topic is going to be all about smell goods, but it's gonna be some tricks and tips that you can use to make sure your home smells good. Because y'all know in certain areas of your home, like the trash cans, bathrooms, garbage disposal, if you don't take tidy up with those things, it'll have your whole house smelling good. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Latursa and I talk a lot about on this channel, self-care hygiene, um, entrepreneurship and motivation. So if any of those topics interest you, Stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you turn on the bell notifications because I drop new videos every week. And also, if you are a OD buddy goodie, welcome back. So nice of you to support me and join me. And if you feel led, you it is two ways that you can support my small little channel. Um, it will be in the description box below. And every one of these products that I'm using today, it will be also in the description box as well. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you are cleaning your trash cans regularly. When I say the more trash you put in your trash can, it makes the trash can stinky. You can even have those good little trash cans that are scented for breeze. Those are the kinds that I use. Um, but here's a little trick that I've started doing. And I've been doing the second one for a while, but I put scent bees, you know those downy boosters or those scent boosters that you can get. You can get them out of Dollar Tree. You can get them from Walgreens, Walmart, wherever. I use those and pour those inside of my trash bag. So when I clean my trash bag out, like you see here, when I clean my trash bags out, my trash can out, I make sure I dry it out really good. And then I take a few cotton balls and I spray it with alcohol and I spray it with my favorite essential oils. And I drop it in the bottom of my trash can way before I put my trash can in. And then I just drop my trash bags down in there because I was keeping them on the counter, but um, right now I can't really use my right hand as much. So I try to make sure everything is down where I can reach them. So make sure you can clean your trash bags out regularly, you guys. And then the second thing to make your home smell fresh is cleaning your garbage disposable with vinegar and, and um, baking soda. Y'all know I talk a lot about vinegar and I talk a lot about baking soda because baking soda and vinegar can be used to disinfect. It can be used for a lot of things in your home. This is stuff you have right in your home. So when you um, turn on your garbage disposal, turn on some hot water and pour in baking soda and vinegar and just let it sit for a while. And then once it starts, you know, that's right in there turn your garbage disposal on and let the hot water run in there and i promise you it'll have your garbage disposal smelling good and do this maybe twice a month because the more you put food down in there those food particles it just accumulate a lot of smell and y'all know i don't like stuff to stink in my house um so and then what i do is i do the same thing y'all know i love vanilla so i take a little bit of my vanilla or my citrus one and drop a few drops of essential oils down in there just to give that little boost if you don't have essential oils, you can always use uh, orange peels or lemon peels and drop them off in there. I'm telling you guys, it'll make your garbage disposal smell brand spanking new. And then the next tip is um, number three, vacuum your floors with scent boosters. Y'all gonna hear me talking a lot about scent boosters and downy drops and all that little stuff because i use it a lot i vacuum my floors that has carpet on it. i vacuum that with um scent boost and it makes your um it makes your um floor smell really good in your room and then i do another thing i clean out my vacuum and pour it out you know, stuff i wash it out really good on that foam part of the top i drop a few essential oils on there as well so when you vacuum not only are you getting a scent from the but you're also getting the same color with the people coming in the back of the room. Just a little trick or two that I've been doing probably for years now um, to make my home smell really good.
And then the fourth, the fifth thing that I use is, y'all know I use my warmer, my melts. So whatever scent you like, you can use these warmers all around your house. Um, and you can also use um, the, um, I want to say diffusers. And you can put your essential oils in there because I have that in my bathroom and then I have my warm, my melts warmer in my kitchen. And so whatever fragrance you like, whatever melts, you can get them from Walmart. You can order them on Amazon, buy the bundle and just use your favorites throughout the house. Now I will say for the melts, if it's a big room, you may have to use two warmers because I know for my um, living area, living room area, it's kind of huge. And so when I put it in the kitchen, you can smell it good in the kitchen, but it don't really linger in the living room so test it out and see which ones works best for you and then the next thing i do is i wash my bed sheets and pillowcases and pillows once a week i don't know it's just something about every sunday i like to fresh clean my room up and i like to take my sheets off take everything off my bed spray it down with some lysol um put my sheets and comforter in the um and the washing machine and the thing is with your comforters they're huge wash them by themselves because you want your clothes to get clean and if you overload your washing machine your stuff is not going to get clean and y'all know the bed sometimes if you're a heavy sweater like me you know i sweat a lot around my neck so my pillows i have to wash them at least once a week that just makes me feel good knowing that i get in a clean bed so make sure you wash your bed sheets at least once a week your pillowcases and then Every six months or so, change your pillows. I know for me, it's getting time for me to change my pillows. I'm just going to dump those in the trash and start fresh. Or sometimes, like when you first get them, I know I put them in the washing machine and um, put uh, tennis balls in there so it can stay fluffy and wash my pillows in vinegar and bleach just to kill the germs or whatever. And then my next tip, number seven, is um, I place humidifier bags and if you missed my last video i talked about in my amazon haul those humidifier bags i put them in each of my closets i put them in my drawers and then another um thing that i do is i put them in each of my closet like my linen closet and just to absorb the moisture because you know moisture get in there and it, it sets up smells you know those different smells so that's another one and then number eight is I take regular dryer sheets, whatever fragrance you like, and I place them in my drawers, in my um, panties drawers, my shirts and stuff. Just put them in between there. And then like when I store my blankets or cover for seasonal pillows and all that Christmas decor stuff, I place like little um, dryer sheets in between there so they can stay fresh while they're packed down. And then the next tip is um, I take dryer sheets and I wipe down my couch because, you know, it's kind of that material. It's that cloth-like material. So I take that and I um, go over my, my chairs and my dining set. I go over my couch and stuff just to freshen up. And if you got drapes up, I don't really have drapes up in my house. But if you have drapes, you can take your dryer sheets and just wash over your dryer sheet. You know, wash over your drapes, wash over your furniture, your couch, sofa pillows, just to give it a fresh set. And it really, it really does freshen up. And then my last and final tip, you guys, is I use antibacterial cleaning stuff to clean my toilets, as you can see. Uh, I, you can get that from the Dollar Tree. Just make sure it says kill at least 99.9% .9 of germs because right now, even if COVID wasn't going on, you still want to clean with antibacteria. So it kills the germs. You can wash your doorknobs with it, clean your toilets, tub, clean your sinks, um, clean your floors, um, you can do a lot and you know the bathroom is one of those places where you got to stay up on there because i'm telling you bathrooms get really clean this one is my my son's bathroom so i make sure you know most of the time he cleans his own bathroom but for the sake of this video i want to show you guys you know how if you don't get up under if you don't lift the seats up and all that stuff you can have you know just i don't even want to talk about it but you can have all kind of stuff up in there so just make sure you guys are thoroughly cleaning spots places that you don't even think of like right around the toilet at the bottom it's just nasty look if i didn't have to clean the bathroom i wouldn't and y'all know i used to be a housekeeper so i've seen my chair but i'd rather clean my own toilets at my house than in a hotel or somewhere out in the public people can be nasty but 
I hope that this video helps you and let me know in the comment section um, sections have you used any of these products or if you're planning to use any of these products and so what's some of your favorite products that you use to clean that you may be recommend for me to try because y'all know I love smelling good and I love for my house to smell good so I hope this video was helpful to you guys um, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video Mwah.